He said, if he can push 50, say 20 pounds, I'm be 20 pounds heavier, and he get 20 pounds lighter. So, it gradually build up, then you go. Do you understand the Do you understand the principle? Okay, good Ming. Good Ming. Ah, oh. Very good. 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 you good. Fresher beginner is the the way you use it, do it is not really perfect yet. He said, uh, I, I, I observed that uh, quite a few people was too worried about where to put the hand, so keep the eyes on the hand all the time like this. So you bend your neck, you, know, you upset your body structure. And you're losing that basic uh, Wing Chun Siu Lim Tao main idea, using your mind to, to actually do what you're trying to do. He said the first three hand is the one that teaches you not how not to use force because Wing Chun one of the basic principles is relaxation. How to how to be able to relax. How can you relax? Just because you do it slowly, then you help you to relax. So when you try to speed it up, you tend to use a lot more muscle power, and that will conflict with Wing Chun principle. He said, uh, learning Siu Lim Tao, the first stages is copying. He said, you are all the fresher or beginner, so you, know, you, you have to be in that, in that stage one, anyhow, copying stage. He said, that is uh, because you try to copy that what the instructor does, so you tend to follow up the hand all the time. You say when you up, up to up to train for a while, when you know exactly what Tan Sao is all about, you just looking forward and just put your hand up. We are looking at your hand anymore. He said every every movement in the Siu Lim Tao is Wing Chun always talk about elbow force. You how to use your elbow elbow guiding you. He said people talk about elbow force when you lock up your elbow and try to force with your elbow, it's also also conflict with basic Wing Chun principle. Sigong uh, said, when we when we you doing this hand we think about elbow forces, this elbow, this that's the base of elbow. He said, just thinking about elbow going forward. He said, that is elbow force already, rather than forcing it forward, he said. And it all, also, it's all from your mind, anyhow, feeling from your mind. He said, if you don't know how to use it, 
properly, as soon as you touch people's hands, you go backwards. That's why we request that all the students not to not to use uh, elbow force, not to use it. <laughs> You say we I saw a, a, what you're doing for yourself, trying to pull your hand back, you're not pulling the hand back. Say one way to one, one way to actually do it is this one sit on our center line. We just let the elbow relax and drop, and it will come back by itself, rather than pulling it back. <laughs> 